our buying process. We are a school district entity. When purchasing, I've got to make sure we're making quality purchases that can last a long time, that we're not just spending money to spend money. We are stewards of the taxpayer's money. So Magnolia ISD is located in north side of Houston, just north of Tomball and west of the Woodlands area. We're a, a smaller school district. We got about 15,000 students. Several years ago, we built the Magnolia Event Center to give a venue for our booster clubs, staff and, and leadership meetings and sports organizations to have their banquets. We give a spot for prom to happen without having to take our students out of the community. The city of Conroe rents us out for their daddy-daughter dance, which is an awesome event. You got 250 couples of dads and daughters, and you know, they walk in with kind of this look on what I get myself into. And when they get in there and the music's playing and they're eating the food and they're dancing, see all those happy little faces of those, those children just dancing the night away with their dad. We host various community events, such as the Chamber, the Rotary Club, the SOS, which is a community food bank. And then we're also available for outside events. I feel like a building's only good as its use. And if we have calendar space and we're able to hold outside events, private parties, then, then bring them on. Let's use this building, let's use it for the community and do what we can to host multiple events here. I worked at a Boy Scout camp one time, and during the training, the motto was, give them the pickle. What? Give them the pickle? So there's a YouTube video, give them the pickle. It's about a uh, burger shop that had an elderly couple come in all the time, and this guy always ordered a burger with extra pickles. And at some point in time, they started charging 75 cents extra for the extra pickles. And that guy said, no, thank you. Left, wrote a... I don't know why you're charging me extra money for pickles, da, 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 da. I'm not gonna shop there anymore. And the owner saw that letter and said, why are we gonna lose a customer over extra pickles? No, here's some coupons for free burgers, come back, we're not gonna charge you for extra pickles. You know, it's, it's the customer service aspect of how can we bend over backwards to make your experience, your event the best it is. Because for me, it's number 200 of 500 for the year, but for them, it might be their only experience at our building. So how do we make it stand out? How do we present food where it's picture worthy? How do we serve food where it's picture worthy? Our buying process. We are a school district entity. We're held accountable to the taxpayers. So when purchasing, I've got to make sure we're making quality purchases that can last a long time that we're not just spending money to spend money. We are stewards of the taxpayer's money. So what we wanna do, we wanna focus on being effective and efficient with our purchases. One of the first things we realized is we needed more serving lines and we had ModuServe serving lines in the building already, got a hold of Efren, and then for Efren to say, hey, we're in the Houston area, ModuServe is in Houston, let's go down to their factory and let's talk to their people and have the conversation with them to build the serving lines. So one simple meeting of getting general concepts and then we went down to ModuServe and toured the factory, sat down with the guy that drew design draw and discussed what we wanted. So then, yeah, quick little change a couple things and those serving lines are, they do a good job for us and, and we use them constantly for every time we serve food in the building. So we wanted to make sure, A, that we're stewards of the taxpayer's money. We're using it efficiently and effectively. That we're buying product that's gonna last a while. It's not gonna break on first use. And it's a quality product. It presents a good picture of the event center whenever we serve our guests. The line of products carried by Crane, the Cambros, the American Metal Crafts, the Maju Serves, the Art Cardinals, they help us present our food at a very elegant manner. The Maju Serve serving lines were able to produce food for 600 people and get them through the line in a timely manner utilizing the Maju Serve serving lines. 
can't make any of that possible without the Cambro support with their plate racks, their speed racks. The whole production can happen with the products, the quality products carried by Crane. I remember whenever we went to figure out the dishware and flatware that we would bring into our building that Crane brought in multiple samples for us. We tried several different things and I put it to the test. And when I say that, when we started looking at plates, I didn't want our plates chipping the first time we put it through the dishwasher. So I literally took a knife and held the plate to the side and hammered the plate with a knife to see if it would chip. It didn't. I want the community to know that Magnolia Event Center is here to host primarily school district events, followed by community events and then private events. In doing that, we want our guests to have an exceptional experience every time. We want to do what we can to make their event to be a success. We want to make sure that if it's your wedding that you're hosting here, everything for your wedding runs smoothly. If we're hosting a nonprofit group, that we're doing everything we can to help build the fundraiser, to make a good impression of the nonprofit to the community. And whatever we can do to assist in that, we wanted to give it our max effort. Founded in 1980, it was one of the first food bank in Texas at the time. Now we are feeding 120,000 individuals every week through a lot of our different programs. 